basically to us 3D rapid prototyping is actually another form of printing technology. The Centre for Fine Print Research has always looked at print in its broadest context and to us this is just printing in layers three-dimensionally rather than just dealing with a flat planar surface. So for us it's a logical progression. It's taken us several years to get there through sort of low relief and low relief ceramics into 3D printing technologies. But we see this as a new expansive area. We've done a lot of flat 2D digital printing. This is the obvious route next. For us, there are two fundamentals about working with artists. One is actually that um, that's our primary reason for, for, for existence, is that we have always worked with artists. We are artists who work with other artists. And our research is about how we can push technology for the visual arts. One of the things that um, is also important there is the fact we do a lot of work with industry as well. And artists for industry, for us, and industry are a test bed. We can actually do things with artists that industry wouldn't think to do and push the parameters of the technology. So we can not only push things forward, but also we can find out faults and problems or even approaches Often it's the approach that the artist makes if we document it which actually allows new development and avenues for the industry. Most of the 3D technology has been designed for prototyping, for producing a, a model for further development, whereas actually what we're trying to do is get the artist to work on a more finished piece which then gets exhibited and finished and isn't a prototype but actually is the object in itself, a sort of one-off sculptural piece. We have a kind of range of technology. At a simpler level we have, or to us at a simpler level, which is not necessarily the case, we have the Z-Corp rapid prototyping machines, which just lay layers of powder down and a glue, that, a binder that binds them together. Um, we have two of those. We have one that prints in colour and one that's just, just a straight, in essence, black and white, even though it only prints in white plaster. And we have the objects machine, which is a, a photopolymer deposition machine. And we have some very sophisticated, sort of um, delicate CNC milling machinery, which complements the, the, the main sets of rapid prototyping. Across the university, in actual fact, we have a very wide range of rapid prototyping facilities. Fundamentally, our research project from the Arts and Humanities Research Council is specifically looking at what artists can and can't do with the technology. And in a sense, one of the things that's very interesting about these technologies are the things you can manufacture that you couldn't do any other way. You can make impossible objects and structures just because of this layering process where you can make an object inside an object or shapes and forms that would be very difficult to create in any other method. One of the things that um, the centre wanted to look at wasn't just the production, but from the capture right through to the manufacture. So we have scanning facilities, we have a Z-Corp scanner, which you'll probably see later, and um, we can actually capture objects and then make adjustments, put parts together and carry on designing. So it's that from conception to completion is the approach we need so that artists can come and they don't have to come part the way through the process, that they can come at the very start of the process.